Algebra 1 Honors, Lesson 1.3, Open Sentences, and Lesson 1.4, Identity and Equality Properties. Uh, we're going to build up to actually solving equations, so forgive me if I'm brief. That's why you have a pause button. What's an open sentence? Well, an open sentence is a, uh, it's a statement with variables. And that's a horrible definition. And the question is, how do we solve an open sentence? Um, that's what we're going to be doing in the next few lessons. Uh, actually, we'll be doing that in the next uh, 10 to 12 lessons and things like that. Um, we'll build up to something that most of you have seen before, but since this could be for anybody, we'll go through the process. What's the difference between an equation and an equality? An equation is the open sentences we're talking about. This one has an equals. This one has a greater than, greater than, equal, less than, or less than equals sign. Um, so we're also going to be solving those eventually, but we'll keep those in the background as long as we can. Uh, what's the difference between a replacement set and a solution set? Well, this is kind of silly. Uh, these are possible answers. Um, and this is just, again, us trying to lead, lead you to actually solving equations. And this is the, you know, the actual answers. Um, and if any of this is remotely confusing, don't worry about it. As we get going forward, you know, we'll make this as simple as possible. So here's your replacement set, possible answers. But the solution set is the one that works. So we try them all, and it turns out, hey, if I make n equal to 5, I pull this one out, then 6 times 5, this is an open sentence by the way, six times five plus seven, and then I always like to put a little question mark here, 37 equals 37, hey that works, my solution is n equals five. Again over here we can try it with five times x plus two and say, hey let's try six, see if that works. We should try them all, I'm cheating of course. Five times six plus two equals maybe 40. Five times eight is 40 and that equals 40. Yes, X equals six. So, inequality means that there may be more than one answer. You might have several answers. Um, you look in this solution set and you try and see which ones work. And we'll try nine and just see if that works. 18 minus nine, question mark, less than 10. 9 less than 10, check. So we look at that and say, hey, 9 works. Turns out 10, 11, and 12 works. So our solution set, really, we have to write it with the funky brackets, which causes more consternation than almost anything else I've seen in math class. 11, 12. And eventually we'll find a way to not have to worry about having a set to work off of. So again, over here, we have another inequality. 2x plus 7 greater than or equal to 29. Uh, let's try 11, and hopefully I fail on one of these because a lot of people think it's bad to fail on math. I would say I fail on math more often than not. 2 times 11 plus 7 greater than or equal to 29, question mark. 22 plus 7 is 29, and you might say, oh, that's not greater than, but notice we have an equal here, so this one actually works, and any number greater than 11 will work. So our solution set is 11 and 12. Um, by the way, work on drawing these brackets. You'll say, oh, that's a waste of time. Well, I don't know. I think art is a very important subject, uh, and the ability to draw things beautifully is, is, is impressive. People will be blown away by this. So suppose you want to order several sweaters. It costs $39 from the catalog, $10.95 charge for shipping, and you only have $150. Well, 39 times X plus that shipping charge it better be less than or equal. It could actually equal it 102.50. So now we would go backwards and just do a bunch of guessing and checking. 
Um, um, again, I, I use the word cheating all the time, and uh, I don't mean to make it sound like that's a bad thing. Um, I had another word for it I used to use, but I just like the word cheating. It's, it's, it makes people feel mischievous. Um, well, that's just me. Anyway, uh, scamming, I think is the other word somebody used, but that actually sounds worse. Um, I get that we can buy uh, at most two. Uh, so let's check. 39 times 2 plus 10.95. Is that less than or equal to 102.50? Actually, that's supposed to go down here, so I'll bring it down here. So I get 88.95, and yes, that is less than 102.50. Um, the question is, could we have gotten three? So I really would have to check. And the answer is no. Uh, 39 times 3 is 117. 3 is too many. And I am a huge believer in writing out what you do, why you do it. A little bit of explanation. People go, oh, two, that's it, we're done. Um, two sweaters. And then somebody says, well, wait a minute, could we have gotten three? And Nobody told me. Oh, wait, it's written down right there. So these are uh, properties which mathematicians make a huge deal of, and, and justifiably so. I mean, we should know these things. Additive identity. Um, I'm not sure about words, so I'll come back to that. Uh, that just means anything. Uh, A plus 0 equals A. So add a 0, no change. Feel free to write your own words in there if you feel like something else will work better. 2 plus 0 equals 2. There's no change. We had 2 when we started. We ended up with 2. The multiplicative identity, multiply by 1. Again, no change. So uh, b times 1 equals b. I like to use something exotic, pi times 1 equals pi. And I don't know if anybody's ever used the word exotic and pi in the same sentence, but there you have it. Multiplicative property of 0, multiply by 0. You get 0. So uh, c times 0 equals 0. Uh, 5 times 0 equals 0. Multiplicative inverse. Uh, I usually like to do additive inverse first, but hey, I'm a team player. Multiply by something. To get 1. So, I have 5. Multiply by 1 fifth. Actually, we've got to make this a variable. I'm getting ahead of myself. A times 1 over A equals 1. So, multiplicative inverse gets us to the multiplicative identity. You should know that. That's pretty handy to have in your hip pocket. 3 times 1 third. That's a times, not a minus. So we use dots now, and it's hard because this thing it always looks like I'm putting a negative. Reflexive, you're gonna love this one. People always freak out. Why would you do reflexive? Um, any number is equal to itself. Notice I've already gotten bored with all this, so I'm starting to put it in shorthand. Uh, change it up. B equals B. This pops up in geometry. It does not pop up much in math. Symmetric. I mean, I go both ways. Uh, symmetric and reflexive, by the way. I always put these on tests and people just get crushed. They just can't keep them straight. If A equals B, then B equals A. X equals 2, 2 equals x, whatever.
transit of finally get something that's actually fairly handy. Um, if yeah, I'll go with letters that we haven't seen in a while. R equals S and S equals T, then R equals T. So uh, R equals S comma S equals T, then R equals T. X equals Y, Y equals 7, X equals 7. And uh, I don't actually use that much. It's used in geometry a bit, but not a big deal. And then substitution, kind of the transitive thing. A uh, number can be substituted for its equal. So x equals 9, 2x plus 1 equals 2 times 9 plus 1. Actually, that belongs there. Who cares? Get the general idea. So, evaluate using properties and name the properties in each step. Yep, whatever. Um, geez, I don't even know, to be honest with you. I guess this is stupid. We could substitute what that equals. 2 times 6 minus 5 is 1. And this, of course, is multiplicative inverse. This would be um, multiplicative identity. And then, I don't even know what to call this, substitution, I guess. 3 sub. Don't get hung up on it. Memorize them, know them. They do pop up. They are handy when we go into other walks of mathematics. You say, hey, remember that reflexive thing? It actually doesn't work here. The symmetric thing does, but doesn't. Or multiplicative. You have to be aware of it. That's all. Don't lose any sleep over it. So again, we substitute in here 3. We get 4 divided by 3. For real. And 3 fourths times that. Substitute in for that, we get 3 fourths times 4 over 3. These are multiplicative inverses, so we get 1. That is a fair amount of stuff, but not too much. So happy mathing, and good luck doing your problems.